Good morning. I am Devasena. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about stepper motor interfacing with A255 to 8085. This topic is present in the subject mechatronics. Stepper motor interfacing. Stepper motor is a widely used device that translates electrical pulses into mechanical movement. Stepper motor is used in applications such as disk drives, dot matrix printer, robotics, etc. The construction of the stepper motor is shown here. The construction of the stepper motor is represented here. In the initial state, currents are passed such that the upper pole of A phase, that is upper slash lower, is S and the lower pole is N. Here it is represented. It has a permanent magnet rotor called the shaft which is surrounded by S theta. Commonly used stepper motors have four stator windings that are paired with a center tabbed common. Such motors are called as four phase or unipolar stepper motor. The stator is a magnet over which the electric coil is wound. One end of the coil are connected commonly either to ground or plus 5 volt. The other end is provided with a fixed sequence such that motor rotates in a particular direction. Stepper motor shaft moves in a fixed repeatable increment which allows one to move it to a precise position. Step angle. Step angle is defined as the minimum degree of rotation with a single step. Number of steps per revolution is equal to 360 degree divided by step angle. So, steps per second is equal to RPM into steps per revolution divided by 60 degree. For example, if we consider the step angle is equal to 2 degree, then the number of steps per revolution is equal to 180 In industry, automation is going on increasing. So, automatically, the need of motors is also increasing. Here, the stepper motor is used in many applications according to the industry needs. The main application of stepper motor is which is used in robotics. The stepper motor will be rotated as stepwise. It may be full step, half step, or it may be wave step. Switching sequence of motor. As discussed earlier, the coils need to be energized for the rotation. This can be done by sending a bits sequence to one end of the coil while the other end is commonly connected. The bit sequence sent can make either one phase on or two phase on for a full step sequence or can be a combination of one and two phase on for half step sequence. Both are tabulated below. Full step sequences are represented here. In this diagram, two phase on 
values have been represented here one phase on sequences are represented half step that is eight sequence value is represented in this tablet column so far we have discussed about the construction of the step motor let us see the interfacing of step motor with a255 to 8085 here is a representation of the step motor that has been interfaced with a255 to 8085 a step motor is a digital motor it can be driven by digital signal figure shows the typical two phase motor rated 12 volt slash 0.67 amps per hour interfaced with 8085 motor shown in the circuit has two phases with the center tap winding the center taps of these windings are connected to 12 volts supply. Due to this, a motor can be excited by grounding four terminals of the two windings. The programmer activates the windings of stepper motor according to the application of these kinds of steps. The stepper motor has four windings and the rotor will be there. The rotor is a rotating part which is permanent magnet so the windings can be connected to the a255 programmable peripheral interface port at either port a or port b here the step motor step rotation will be depending on the number of teeth presented on the rotor generally the step angle will be 1.8 degrees if the number of teeth is 200 on the rotor these teeth will decide the step angle of the stepper motor. Thank you very much for listening this lecture. If you like this lecture means kindly share this video to your friends. For further updates kindly subscribe my channel. Thank you.